Hi, I'm Allison with New Little Life. I'm a birth doula, lactation counselor, nurse, and mom of two. If you need to supplement your baby with breast milk or formula, a bottle isn't your only option. Today we're gonna to talk about some alternatives to the bottle, including cup feeding, syringe feeding, and using a supplemental nursing system. One of the easiest ways to feed a newborn, especially in the first few days of life, is with a cup. You can even hand express a few drops of colostrum into a small cup like this and then feed them very easily. They sometimes at the hospital will give you a softer cup to feed the baby, but just a regular medicine cup will work if you're now at home. There's really not much to it. You simply hold the baby and feed them one drop at a time. They'll probably lap it up. They're not going to latch onto it like a breast or a bottle, but you're just kind of feeding them one drop at a time. This works best for small quantities. You wouldn't want to feed five ounces this way, but this is great for newborns, especially within the first month of life. Another great option is syringe feeding. You can get these syringes at your local pharmacy. A lot of times they come with the infant Tylenol that you get over the counter or your hospital should have these as well. All you do is pump some breast milk, draw it up in the syringe, and then feed it to baby. This seems to be a little bit easier for some new parents because you can just push the milk in as the baby sucks. It's a little bit easier to control how much they're getting, whereas the cup, they're kind of lapping it up, it can be a little messier. But syringe feeding is another great way to feed the baby milk without giving them a bottle. This was another cool little thing that I found on Amazon, which you could also use to feed the baby. This might even be a little bit easier than a syringe. And it's really intended for older babies. Uh, you can put food in here and then kind of it's all in there and you just squeeze it out as you go. But it actually works really good for milk too. So I've just filled this up with some milk and you really could just spoon feed the baby. It's gonna come out automatically, but if you push, even more comes out, they'll lap it up. This would be especially good if you wanted to go out of the house. I feel like this would be, you can see how quickly that comes out. A really cool little thing to use, especially out and about. Now let's talk about one of my favorites, which is the supplemental nursing system. This is a way to get the baby at the breast, so they're still simulating all of your hormones and things for you to make more milk. They're also getting breast milk from your breasts because if you are lactating, your breasts are never totally empty, even if your milk hasn't come in yet or you're having problems. So this is a great way for the baby to latch on the breast while also getting the supplement maybe that your healthcare provider recommended for you. It comes with instructions and is fairly easy to put together. It has a backflow protector that only will screw on one way, so you can't really mess up that step. You'll also wanna make sure that this tubing is clamped. So this one has a slot where you pull the tube into the hole to stop the flow of milk until you're ready for it. So make sure that you clamp off that tube before you begin. Next, you'll use express breast milk or formula, whatever your healthcare provider has suggested. Express breast milk is preferred, but I know that's not always available, so then you can choose the formula that you need. You put in the desired amount to the bottle part here and then screw the top on. Next, you'll flip it upside down and start priming the tubing. Again, it's important that this clamp is on so that you don't start milk running all the way down. Now that you've got milk in the re reservoir here, you can go ahead and attach this to your shirt. It's important that it's higher than the breast because this system utilizes gravity as well as suction to get the milk from the bottle to the baby. Next, you're going to fasten the tubing to your breast. So you want the tubing to come out about the same height as the nipple. This kit did come with a little piece of tape that you can tape right to the breast so that this tubing stays on and you're not having to fiddle with it much while you're also trying to latch on the baby. So go ahead and secure that with a piece of tape right here. And the next step is to bring your baby over for a feeding. So you'll wanna get your baby latched on first before you open up the milk flow. So paying attention to that tube there, you'll go ahead and latch your baby on with the nose to nipple technique. I'll put a link above for you if you missed that video. You want the tubing on the middle of the baby's lip or either side. Having the tubing in the corner of the mouth like this is not ideal and you're, they're not going to be able to suck enough to get that milk out and it's just not gonna do you much good. So you want this valve on their top lip coming this way. 
Once the baby is on the breast and suckling, you're gonna wanna open up that milk flow by taking the lock off. You'll notice the milk starts to flow down even with just gravity, but as the baby sucks, he or she will start to get the milk from the supplemental nursing system, just as if it was coming from the breast. The baby won't be able to tell much difference here, which is why this is a great system to use because you're getting stimulation at the breast. The baby learns how to breastfeed and latch on appropriately, so there's no nipple confusion, but they're also getting the added benefits of a supplement or extra express breast milk, donor milk, whatever you choose to use. And it kind of saves you time as well. If you're supplementing with a bottle, you have to breastfeed first and then offer the bottle pump in between if you're doing express breast milk. So this kind of eliminates an extra step for you. If you have the breast milk or the formula, all you have to do is set up this system real quick and you'll get very quick at it, I promise. Baby latches onto the breast just like they're breastfeeding. They're still maintaining those skills of breastfeeding. You're getting stimulated and they're getting the supplement. This is really a great system to use if you need to supplement for formula for longer than a day or two. I'll leave purchase links below for a few of the supplies that we talked about today, as well as some other helpful articles and tips down in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe because we'll be back with more tips and tricks on pregnancy, labor, childbirth, postpartum life, breastfeeding, and just life as a new mom. You can also find me on my blog, newlittlelifeblog.com. If you have any questions or comments today, please comment below because I love to respond to questions. We'll see you next time.